Hello, Mr. Adams here, Eastland Christian School, seventh grade math teacher. Uh, I'm sending out this video because the students took a math test uh, last week, towards the end of last week, I believe it was on Friday. Uh, they took this math test that had a lot to do with integers. That's positive and negative numbers and how to work with those. It's something that they will be using for the rest of their time through math, from seventh grade all the way through their senior year and even beyond that. So it's kind of fundamental to algebra and so on. So there are some basic rules for adding positive and negative numbers and then multiplying and dividing positive and negative numbers. Some basic rules for those. In addition, are you adding like signs? You add and give the same sign. So if you're adding two negatives, it's negative. If you're adding two positives, it's positive. Okay. Now, for Unlike signs, if you're putting together a positive and a negative in addition, then you subtract the two numbers and give the sign of the greater number. For instance, a negative eight plus five. You subtract, you get three. Eight is bigger than five, it's a negative number, so your answer is negative, right? Um, basic rule, they have these rules in their books. I gave them a kind of an abbreviated uh, rules because the book rules were a little long and wordy. I gave them easier rules to memorize. Same rule, but just worded so that they can memorize it easier. Multiplication rules. If you multiply two negatives or like signs, two negatives or two positives, the answer is positive. You multiply or divide unlike signs, the negative and positive, positive and negative, it's always a negative answer. They're not complicated rules. They have them written down. Many of them chose not to learn those rules and they did not do well on the test because positive negatives can be confusing if you just look at it and try to figure it out, quote, logically. You will get it wrong the majority of the time. You need to follow the rules. So they took that test, they didn't do well. Over this hurricane break, they need to correct all of their mistakes I will put the corrected grade in the grade book for their grade. So they need to do that corrected work over the hurricane break um, and that will help their grade because a lot of them did not do well on the test. All right. So any questions, feel free to email me through SchoolWorks. That will work. And uh, I'm going to post this video probably in SchoolWorks as well, uh, probably a YouTube link. All right. So. Thank you very much. Stay dry.